Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're just going to go through uh, the new function that is added to Golang 1.16 is the file embedded. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is how we can embed a website into a one release binary. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first of all, we'll have to go and create a new project. Uh, oh, before that, uh, you will need to have a uh, Golang 1.16 installed, uh, which you can Google that, it's fairly basic. Okay, uh, I will just make the project first. Oh, let's call it Go Web. Okay, and then we go Go Mod and it. Go Web. And we'll use Visual Studio Code okay for that. Okay, let's make a main dot go and package main func main. Okay, first of all, we need to define the new embedded path oh, where all our assets are. Okay, and let's make it assets embedded dot file service. And then we need to tell go where the index HTML is, uh, which we'll put that in and uh, where oh, let's call it three W's eh? and index.html okay and then we need to var html and the types for that is byte <coughs> okay first of all we need to Bring in the HTTP package file ser system file server actually HTTP .fs. and we need to put assets into that and HTTP handle that's the part that's this part is where the path is assets. And we pass in the assets, uh, the file system, and then the HTTP handle function. Need the handle func. This part is show where the path of the actual um, browser going to hit when. HTTP dot response writer uh, HTTP dot request Okay, and we need to do the header dot add and the content type is text slash html and then write the html okay we're almost there we just need to um, do a HTTP, http listen and search okay and we'll just manually type in the port number we'll use the 80 This is no. Okay, this is pretty much it for as far as the Go um, side of things. Uh, what we're going to do next is 
was going to do a really basic uh, HTML um, page and then we can do the test for this. Okay, let's make um, the folders to house all our HTML files or our website. Uh, I think it's probably more tidier if we put everything in under one folder. Uh, and here we need to create another asset folder and also we need to create our HTML file and then assets just for this demo I think we'll um, use that to show uh, put an image in there just to show you you know what what it's like okay I've got an image here yeah, let's put that in there okay that's the image okay let's start writing our HTML file Here, let's do the Im do an image. And the source, we will go here. Assets. And go land image. And let's go, hello, Will. Okay, that's pretty much it. Alright, uh, time to test this guy out. Uh, what we do is go run.go. Nice. Looks like it works. Just one last thing. Uh, let's compile this uh, and run it again to see if it's, it goes. All we need to do is we go go build. Okay, and now we have a web go web file here. And let's check this one out. Okay, that's the file here. And we double click that. Okay, there you go. So now you can just, you know, give your give this particular file to like anybody that you want to give your um, like web app or whatever you want to, and they can just run it by simply double clicking it, and the website comes up just like that. All right, thank you for watching, and please do this. Uh, subscribe my channel and there will be many more you know this type of um, Golang mini tutorials upcoming and also uh, there will be some um, WebRTC tutorials coming ahead as well okay thank you for watching thank you bye bye